Okay, so here's an update on the robotics for the short circuit one arms uh, Lance and I are working on. Um, Lance is doing the cutting of the actual arm itself um, using the photos from the props. Now that was just auctioned off. Uh, it's the first time I've actually really get a good look at it. So um, I've, I'm working on this section mainly. I just want to get this section right first. Uh, this section works fine. I just got to do what I did to this, to that. Uh, then I'm going to work on this section here because it pivots there as well and down here as well. Um, so this is the continuous rotation one. So if I push it up, it'll just stay where it goes. Like it doesn't come back to a return. So there's no way of controlling this or stopping this. It's just continuous rotation. Uh, manual use. Uh, great for um, just RC. Uh, but if you want to do something a bit more better so you can um, program it. I actually built this one tonight. Um, which is exactly the same as the original prop. Um, so I haven't touched any of the outside or anything like that. Which was great. Um, this cable here comes out on the original prop anyway into a tube and down uh, back into the arm around the back of the arm so that worked out great um, so this is it working here so you can see it has a return on it it can it, I'm only limited I have a screw at the back here at the moment just holding this piece onto this piece I'll take it off in a minute and show you how I did it but that is it working so I had to make this up uh, to fit in this because the servo just wasn't going to do it <coughs> so here's a typical uh, 9 gram servo um, you can get it in there it'll go but it's gonna stick out the back you're gonna have a square here it's not gonna look right you, it's not gonna look like the um, part one arm and Lance has put so much work into it um, so trying to keep it look how it's supposed to was the tricky bit. So let's break this down. I'll show you how I did it. Um, we'll just pull this battery out. Turn this off. So we can unscrew this bit first. I will have a grub screw in here. So this is just to disconnect the arm from the body. So you can disconnect the entire arm. So it just comes off there like that. So we have the, can plug that, so we have the N20 motor here, we have um, the pod on the end of the shaft or at the beginning of the shaft attached to the motor, so only this moves and as this moves it is spinning the um, pod um, and in the back, if I get some and now I can sort of pop this off, it's just tacked on at the moment with some glue. So we just take this off if we ever have to get to it. It'll come off. Maybe I'll use a little too much glue. There we go. And there is the driver board. So N20 motor, uh, the pods in there as well, and the drive board at the back there. Cover cap goes on the back. And that's how I've come up with that one. So that worked out well. I will be doing the bead arm like that as well. So I just have to screw that back on. Um, but I will be doing this section as well. So I'll be able to control that section. Uh, and then this section I'll be working on once I get the motors. So that's where I'm at with the uh, short circuit one arm um, so far.